I quite often get requests for a catamaran. So I gave my friends up at Ancaster a shout as they are Lagoon dealers and said, do you have any catamarans at the minute? And they said, yes, we've got a 46 in stock. Come up and help yourself. So this is the boat and we are going to do, of course, the full aquaholic tour on this. Now these are always really popular family cruising boats or for a load of friends together because they just have so much space on them. It's 46 foot long, but because it's a catamaran, it is really wide, as you can see, and that just gives the entire boat acres of space. And we're going to look at it all. We're going to go inside, do all the cabins, and then work our way through the decks, look at the engines, look at the rig, look at everything. So this is a good place to start. This, of course, is the cockpit. And you've got this massive social area all the way around here. There's a table here that will fold out so that if you're dining, this pulls out, this flips over and gives you a lot more space and in fact here where you have the access up to the steps if you're not using that area you can push this little button on the side and that all slides back and then again this pulls out and flips over and that is a very lovely place to have lunch or dinner under the shelter of this big hardtop up above I'm going to put that back just to make it a little easier to get, oh, my bag's worn over, to get onto the top in a moment. And also, just while on the outside here, I'll show you this, which is just a top-loading ice bucket, really. You've got a drain in there. You could put a fridge unit in there, of course, if you wanted to. But actually, over here, there is an ice maker and there is a proper fridge and you've got the sink up above. And the other fella over there, that is a gas locker for your gas bottle. And of course that drains, so if it had a leak, that would drain out over the side and not into the bilges. Okay, let's go have a look inside. Now this again is another area where you really do appreciate just how much space this type of boat gives you. So there's a big galley area just inside and there's a sliding window here so that can serve straight out sink as you can see this is the fridge there is actually freezer compartments as well so if you're away for a period of time you can get lots of frozen food in there and then of course this is loads of storage all the way around in places like this three burner gas hob and then there's gas oven and that's down there you can if you wish have a microwave and that would fit in that section just over there and there's a generator on this one so that was what would run it this is a little nav station and then you've got this big saloon area and lots of storage as well tucked away in places like underneath here. Now being a catamaran of course your main accommodation is down in the holes and I'm going to show you this side first of all which is your guest cabins and I'll show you the master cabin because that is rather impressive in fact it all is to be honest. So what they've done with this they've really scalloped the sides of the boat out as they come up out of the water and that's given a lot more space than you normally find inside the holes of these. So it's actually given space around the bed rather than the bed just sort of being rammed into the centre. Some of the quite nice things as well, like the lighting that they've put into here. So that's just a little bit more upmarket than you used to get on catamarans of this style. This is a hatch up above here. So ventilation or a way out of the boat. And in fact, you can put it that way and you've got a fly screen. And of course there are blinds for the windows, but a great view out. We are at the Hamble at the moment, and in fact, just there is the Ancaster office. So if you want to buy this boat, go and see those guys, and they will sort you out. Uh, what else have we got? The shelving in here, and then in behind the door, this is storage. Loads of it. And this cabin, has its own ensuite. So if we close that over, we can go in to here. And that's a pretty good size. Again, they've really managed to get some beam into this. 
and that then gives you plenty of space and a proper separate shower stall, which is always nice. And if we head aft, we will find a similar cabin. In fact, this one's slightly bigger because if you look at the bed here, you can see you can really get right around it, which is nice, not just for getting in out the bed, but actually for making the bed as well. When they're wedged up against the sides, it's always a bit of a challenge. Again, the big windows, and again, there are blinds. I don't know if you can see them, they're just there. They all drop down and you have the hatch above with the same arrangement that they had in the other cabin. But that is a decent sized cabin. So it's two guest cabins, again, storage in places like this. This drawer underneath the bed. And then this is a hanging locker on this one. And then plenty more storage in places like this. I'm going to show you just while I'm here. So people talk sometimes about floors creaking, and in fact, they don't very much on this boat, to be fair. But it's normally because of hatches, which you don't normally see because they're under the carpet. This one doesn't have carpets in, so we can have a look. That's access down to the bilges, so things like plumbing. You sometimes find tanks in here or electrical systems. That's the kind of thing that you've got, bilge pump access. And that makes it very practical because you don't need to work on the boat. You can get to the bits you need to work on. This again, ensuite. Again, a pretty decent size with a separate shower stall. So that is for your guests. But come and check out the owner area because that I think is particularly good. So we're back up and we go across and then your owner area is completely separate, which is great for privacy. Now it's worth mentioning that you can have a mirror of the other side. So if you want this as a four cabin boat, you can have it. This is a three cabin boat. And so this is all for the owner. And I think it's magnificent. Big double bed at the aft end of this hull. You've got a seating area. This is a desk or another nav station. And then obviously storage drawers in under here. And again, underneath the bed. And that's a hanging locker. And so on. So if you're coming away on this boat for a few weeks or even a few months, this is a great area as an owner. Let's go right to the back of here because you can really get a good impression of the size of it. There we go, look at that. That is impressive. So we'll wander down the other end and see what we can find. Again, you've got these traps in the floors, as I was saying earlier. That one, for example, is a tank. So it's access straight into that if you ever have a problem. Very good if you're spending long periods of time on the boat. And again, access to the electrics. Proper practical stuff. This is storage. All the way along here. And if we go right to the end, bathroom, look at that. Great big shower at the end there. And some nice areas like this for keeping all your kit in. It's all storage everywhere. How nice is that? And you might be thinking, well, that's great, but there's no toilet and you'd be dead right because that is in a complete separate area. That's through this door. Perfect. And the other thing to point out down here is this, which is a sliding door. So you do have privacy here, of course, at night. But can you imagine waking up in the morning in a cabin like this, with those lovely facilities, and then you open that, and you wander up to see what's cooking for breakfast, into this beautiful saloon area, and then out onto the decks, which is what we'll do next. One thing I didn't point out, in fact, is this boat has an opening window right at the front. That's just here, that actually will slide all the way down, or come right up and close, and so you've got tremendous through flow of air right out. But let's head on out to the decks, and we'll take a turn around, see what's going on. So, 
shoes back on and I think we will head this way very wide decks actually just while we're here I didn't mention this on the way in this is a dinghy handling system so this is actually like a sort of a very basic crane to lift your dinghy up out of the water and flat against the back of the boat and when you want to launch the tender there's this fella here you should push the down button and that drops it away or the up button and there's a lock on that just here so you can actually lock that into place cool let's head on around a bit further Big wide side decks, classic catamaran feel, of course. And this is access up to the flywheel. We're going to have a look at that last. All the hatches you'll notice have been flush mounted, so they're actually inset into mouldings. Because, of course, most of the time on this sort of boat, you're in bare feet and you don't want to stub your toes on them. Right at the very front, there is a big locker for, well, whatever kind of deck gear you want to keep in here. In fact, it's big enough you could even put a bed in there and make that into a tiny crew cabin. But Probably for most people, that would just be a big storage locker. You've got your netting on the front. Great place to lie out when the boat's cruising and look for dolphins. And then in front of the cabin there is this great seating area. So a lovely place to come and sit out when the boat is underway. You've just got a terrific view of the water streaming past the hulls and down underneath here. Hopefully a few dolphins. Brilliant. Let's carry on a bit further. Like these little seats they put into these corners. They're nice. Let's go and have a look on top. So again, big wide decks and again these flush hatches. These are the hatches above the heads compartments in the hull with the guest cabins and the ones at each end of course are the ones, that one for example is over the bed. So around here, big hard top, so you've got loads of shade in underneath which is nice and then these steps will take you up to the helm position. And that's up here. All these lines lead down to here, so everything is very easy to get at. And these are actually powered winches as well. So you can control pretty much the whole sailing from here. What they've done on this boat, actually, talking of that, is they've moved the mast. Normally they're much further forward at the front edge of this cabin, but on this one they brought it right back. And what that has done is a couple of things. It's made room for a self-tacking foresail, so that can just tack without you needing to do anything to assist it. And it also brings the weight further back as well, so it's much more central to the boat, which is helpful big wheel here and your nav kit is here as well you can see the chart plotter engine instrumentation she's twin engines and we'll have a little look at those in a moment and then obviously wind gear so direction and speed and that kind of thing is all on here as well and then the helm seat is just here and this can be whatever you want so it's sunbathing at the minute but what it will do is you can lift it like this and it just clicks into whatever position you want you can see that one is the same or we'll drop it back down just by releasing it and it will drop flat again. Very nice. And this, of course, is giving you loads of shade. And they put windows in so you can keep an eye on the sails. Cool. We'll take a look at the engines. They're not quite as important on this style of boat, of course, but not to say they're not important at all. So we will certainly go and have a look at them. There's one each side. They're sail drive units. That means the engines are right at the back with a sort of leg that goes directly down underneath the propeller on, so all nice and simple. And if we undo these catches, we will discover... That is a 57 horsepower Yanma. As I mentioned, there's two of those, one in each hull. And quite a decent little engine room, actually, once you're down in there. Now, of course, these boats are not about speed, they're about cruising, but that's going to give it probably an eight-knot cruise, and it'll sail at about that sort of speed as well. And then maximum speed is probably nine or ten knots, somewhere around there. But you're never in a hurry when you're on a boat like this. And if you are, you're on the wrong boat. Brilliant. OK, let us go and finish off, I think on one of those seats right at the front. I think it looks rather inviting. So let's have a walk around. Head right up to the bow. And we will finish off on this one in front of this Berto, which we're also filming today. So look out for that one. So there you go. 
a catamaran for all those people who asked for it. I hope you've enjoyed that tour. I'm hoping to do a few more of those as well going forward. So if you've not subscribed, do hit the subscribe button and the little bell, and it'll keep you posted when new videos arrive. As ever, thanks so much for watching, and we look forward to catching you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.